First, a state superior court has dismissed all sexual abuse charges against former acting Alaska Attorney General Ed Sniffen. Lauren Maxwell has been following this. Lauren, bring us up to speed on this case. Well, Rebecca, Ed Sniffen was accused of having a sexual relationship in 1991 with a then 17-year-old high school student when Sniffen, who was 27, was the coach of her high school mock trial team. Now, Nikki Doherty White went public with her story in January of 2021 after learning that Sniffen had been appointed by the governor to be the state's attorney general. An investigation resulted in three counts of felony abuse of a minor to which Sniffen Sniffen pleaded not guilty. Not. Sniffen's attorney argued um, the charges and, should be dismissed uh, because Andy, Andy the statute of limitations, which at the time was five uh, years, had long passed. And in the end, the judge agreed, the even though current Alaska law has no statute of limitations for felony sexual abuse of a minor. The judge said that could not be applied retroactively to Sniffen's case. Now, Nikki White told me today that she was disappointed and angry that the case would not go to trial. She said she felt like she was silenced before she even had a chance to speak. I never got a chance to say, you know, this is what happened. And that uh, kind of the whole real life aspect of what that does to a person uh, for the rest of their lives, um, the after effects. None of that got a chance to be heard. Now, we reached out to Sniffen's attorney, who told us he was unable to comment and that Sniffen was unavailable for an interview. Lauren, does this mean this case is over? Well, the state could still appeal, and a spokesperson for the Department of Law told me they're still reviewing the judge's ruling, and they haven't decided yet whether they plan to appeal.